Today, we're looking at dense support structures in Simplify 3D. As we've explained in a previous video, certain models need to be printed using support material, which prevents overhangs from being printed over thin air. Our example model is this famous Paris monument, the Arc de Triomphe. And today we're doing something special. We're printing with two different materials. We'll be printing the arch itself in PLA and printing the support structures in PVA, a water-soluble filament. Dissolvable filament is great to use for supports when you need a very clean surface finish on the underside of a part where there's contact with support structures, or if you'll have support structures that would be difficult to remove otherwise. And for those of you that have ever purchased PVA, you know that it can be quite expensive. So we're also going to be using a unique feature in Simplify 3D called Dense Supports, which will save us time and plastic. But first, let's preview how this model would be printed if we didn't use any support structures at all. So as you can see, there will be portions of this arch that will need support material. Otherwise, our extruder is going to try to lay down these layers of plastic with nothing underneath them to support them. So let's go back and open our process settings. And we'll go ahead and show advance so we can see all the details and go to the support tab. Now there might be some settings here that you recognize such as this automatic placement section. These are the exact same settings you would find in the customized supports window that we explained in a previous video. So since I've printed this arch model before, I know that using a two millimeter support pillar resolution will be able to capture some of its smaller details. And I'm also going to change the support type to from build platform only, so that we'll only be dealing with the supports on the underside of the arch. So now let's slice this model again and take a look. So now you can see that when this arch is being printed here, now there's support from underneath. So before we get into talking about dense support structures, I wanna review a little bit of terminology. Most of you are probably familiar with infill, which determines how much plastic is printed on the interior of a part. For example, an infill percentage of 100% would be completely solid. In this case, our infill, which is shown here in orange, is set at 20%. So this part will only be 20% solid on the inside. The same concept of fill percentage also exists for support structures. These support structures are currently set at an infill of 30%. So you can see that these support walls are closer together, making it more solid than the infill on the interior of the part. But this 30% infill is going to be used for the entire height of my support material which is going to use more of my expensive PVA filament than I would like. So we'll go back and make some adjustments. We open the support tab again. There's a really useful feature in Simplify 3D called dense support structures. These allow you to vary the density of your support material. In this case, it will allow us to use a lower infill percentage for the majority of the support and only transition to a higher infill percentage where the support structures are contacting the surface of the part. To enable this feature, all we have to do is change the number of dense support layers, or how many layers of this higher infill support will be printed. Let's change it to five. The only other setting we have to think about here is the support infill. We have the infill percentage for the normal support, as well as the infill percentage for the dense support. Let's leave the dense infill at 70%, but change the normal support infill to 15%. This will save us quite a bit of filament. So now if we slice, now you can see that we still have our regular supports shown in light gray, but for the last five layers before the supports make contact with the part, we also have these denser supports shown in dark gray. Now, if you happen to be using a single extruder printer, that means that you'll be printing both the part and the support structures in the same material. For that reason, the software is usually set up to have a small amount of separation between the part and the supports to prevent them from bonding together. That's what allows you to remove the supports easily. But as I mentioned in the beginning, today I'm using a water soluble filament for my support structures. So I want to set things up a little differently. For water soluble filaments, we won't need to snap the supports off the part when it's done printing. Instead, we're going to let warm water remove the supports for us. So in this case, we actually do want the PVA support structures to bond to our PLA part. So we're going to remove some of this separation. 
That's part of the reason why printing with water-soluble supports can improve the surface finish on the underside of a part. So let's go back and reopen the support tab. And now we'll look at the separation from parts section. I'll change the horizontal offset from the part to 0.1 millimeter. That's for the gap on the sides of the support. And then I'm going to decrease the upper and lower separation layers to zero. That's the gap on the top and bottom of the support. These settings are going to work really well for our dissolvable filament. So here's a time lapse of the arch printing. You can see the PLA in gray and the PVA dissolvable filament in white. And here are the before and after photos. On the left is the arch before we dissolve the PVA. Notice the dense support layers closest to the arch's underside. On the right is the arch after I let it soak in a cup of water overnight, then rinsed off any of the remaining PVA in the sink. So now that you know how to use dense supports in Simplify 3D, you can save time and filament while also getting great 3D prints.